Bramlett of Stanford. This is Peter Malnati. Softest landing. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very soft. Listen to me. Lonto Griffin up the hill for birdie at the first. That'll help. We see a lot of fresh faces on that front first page. Doc Redman with our first look today at the par three seventh. At the sixth. And if this drops, it would be a big help for him. Nice. Underway on a Saturday here in the Monterey Peninsula, the 34-year-old out of Stanford, Joseph Bramlett. Lengthy one here at the fifth to get it to 10 under par. This is kind of right up the draw here. He's got a beautiful stroke, puts a great roll on it. Oh, yeah. Finger snap. Twirl, let's see. Oh, Tom, oh, and for Eagle. He can't be showing up by his animal. It's Kevin and Keith Mitchell. Keith at eight under par starting the day. I tell you, he put on quite a show. A heck of a shot. Seamus Power for Birdie at the 17th. Yes. Oh. Finished ninth last year. Got to take advantage of the one through seven on Pebble. He's sort of a newbie here, Jim. It's mm -hmm. just the second time here. Yeah. <laughs> he learns quite like that. <laughs> may come back over a little bit a few more times. Victor now for Eagle. This to get to minus eight. Would only be three back. Watch out. There you go. Yeah. Two beautiful shots. A nice putt pays it off. Take you out to the sixth. Joseph Bramlett, the leader, his third at the par five. Terry Gannon, Frank Nambolo, and the crew with you. Frank, how are you today? Excellent, Terry, especially with a little bit of sunshine there and the lack of wind. What a great oh. shot by Joseph Bramlett, just 34 years of age. Kitayama now at the fourth hole. Only one bogey all week. That's pretty impressive around these golf courses. And beautiful shot back into that whole location. Good chance for Birdie, even today. You know, they can deal with it from there. Tell you what, if this is the right club, this could be really good. Then I was the right club. Well, certainly, Victor is doing what you need to do here at Pebble Beach. Impressive start. Now tied for third. Joel Damon looking for birdie at the ninth. Damon, a one-time winner on tour. That's solid. Excellent read. Committed to that stroke and just paced it right into the cup. Good work as he picks up a shot. His third birdie of the day. Close to 90 feet this shot here for Keith Mitchell. Playing out of the primary rough, 60 degree wedge, high in the air. That is a tough shot. Green working away from him and on the par three. Right now, over 20 miles an hour here at Pebble Six. Yeah, Brian Palmer's third. Not too often you see guys not wait for the green to clear here at six when they're below the hill. Exactly. That's how long it's playing. Yeah, that was a big shot to get it up the top of the hill. Boy, that's the fastest trip from Palm Springs to Scotland I've ever been on, about 20 minutes. So, putt call. There you go. Nice putt. It was just too easy earlier for Ryan. Exactly. <laughs> Bramlett now at the 11th, second shot. Good looking shot. Needs a little spin. There you go. Get it down there below the hole where you want it. All right, there you go. Got a good chance for birdie. To 13. Joseph Bramlett to get to double digits. Yeah. Oh. Keep talking about how difficult this golf course is going to be in these conditions. Just seeing two mammoth putts hauled there at 13. Uphill, right to his left. 
Gee, the misread might need the correct by Malnati. A beautiful little run somehow making three in a row. The word has spread that there will be no more golf today. Resumption of play tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Virtually everybody, all 150 professionals, 150 amateurs, all still have to complete round three. Some have just a little bit to go, a hole or two, and some a bit more. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.